tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hi folks, today I want to show you how to skip, skim, scan back and forth in the timeline with a cloth simulation. This is not possible basically because a simulation always runs from time 1 to time x, always forward and never backwards. So one frame is calculated after the next and not before the next. That's why a simulation as opposed to keyframe animation never can step back unless you cache it. And that's what I'm going to show you. And on our way there, we'll create ncloth and uh, apply a force field to it. Uh, let's start with this disk here. I give it a new shader and I have an existing material here which I called Nice Rust from Alchemist. I really like Alchemist. You can make your shader red as well or whatever. And um, it's just nicer to look at here. So all we have in the outliner is apart from the default light and uh, default object set which is always there, only the disk currently. Let's go to the poly disk settings here and we'll um, raise the subdivisions from 3 to say 7. So we have lots of subdivisions, high density of geometry and this is always good for nice cloth deformations. Now under effects go to end cloth and create end cloth. It's the second entry from the top maybe in future versions of Maya it's the f it'll be the first entry from the top. We're currently in Maya 2019. So now the cloth is created and the cloth falls down. Since we deal with so many um, vertices here, su such a complex geometry, so it takes quite a bit until Maya simulates the whole thing through. So we don't wait for this. And we don't want the cloth to fall anyway, so we go to the nucleus, which is here in the outline and which drives the whole dynamics here. Well, not all of the dynamics, not the dynamics, the internal dynamics of the cloth, but of the outer world. So we reduce this gravity from 9.8 to 0, so we have nothing happening in the scene. Now we select the cloth, or actually the disc, not the end cloth, the disc here. And um, we apply a field, which is, you need to be under effects for that, here under fields and solvers. Try any of them, I just go for the turbulence field, which starts with a magnitude of 5.0, an attenuation of 1 and a frequency of 1, which would be fine. Now let's run the simulation. If you choose a lower res geometry, this goes much faster. Now this yellow line down here, which was introduced I think in Maya 2019 or 18, suggests that you created a cache but you haven't. And you see that when you go forward to say frame 187 and then backward and nothing happens, when you go forward a little bit it deforms and it behaves a little bit odd because backwards doesn't work and forwards Maya doesn't know where to really start simulating uh, and uh, I skim much too fast anyway so this is what I want I want to move back and forth in the timeline and that's what I'm going to show you now you need to select the geometry let me select it right here and go to cache and the cache menu is all over the place where whatever module you have selected here cache and the first one is the very prominent and important Olympic cache, which we won't use now, we could actually, but uh, the geometry cache. And the top entry here is create new cache. If you've never created a cache before, Maya will probably ask you where do you want to put it on your hard drive or your SDD, SSD, SDD. And um, I already created one and I want to replace the one uh, I did. I don't remember what it was anyway. 
now I have to wait until the whole simulation goes through an yet another time. And if you feel this takes too long, just reduce the complexity of the, the geometry of your cloth. You won't have such nice ripples though when you reduce it drastically. But you can always start reproducing this tutorial with a lower geometry so you don't have to wait that long. But you do have to wait from the very beginning to the very end because Maya needs all that, those calculations to create that cache which will use just in a second with quite a lot of pleasure. It's done. It's at 400 now. And what we can do now is move back and forth in the time slider. That's what I wanted to show you basically. And um, let's deselect it by selecting the cloth node. This is the geometry. If you do any kind of changes in the material, for example, change the cloth to silk or change the gravity or change the turbulence, move the turbulence, for example, further up or whatever, you will have to recache the whole simulation. And if you're interested in what this looks like when we render it, I just render one frame for you. Does it render with a GPU? Let's go to render settings, system, from, switch it from CPU to GPU, which is still in beta. We're in 2019 now. And render it again. Now we see GPU rendering has started. And it sure does render it quite okay in just two seconds. <laughs> Bye.